So this is the the clean channel. This guitar, Paul Reed Smith, Paul's guitar, is plugged directly into the input. There's a foot switch for the switch between channels. And the uh, thing I love about these amps is, well, first of all, I don't know if you're going to get find a more powerful amp in a, a package this small. This thing, these babies just roar. So uh, here's input volume. And you have a overall master... I'm sorry, master, this is master volume for input one. So we are on... We are on input number one right now. And um, think about these Mesa boogies is the... Man, the tone controls really work. This is, uh, this is treble. has been upgraded there's a mod reverb tank in there was previously mistakenly left on 10. This uh, particular caliber 21 is special because it has the five band EQ and um, I'm going to engage the EQ and show you the different frequencies. k and 6.6 k 660 hertz the other thing you can do is auto eq put that in and EQ does not work until you engage the um, the lead channel. So here's the lead channel. I'm just gonna step on this switch switch or push it in. So now the EQ's in, so if I boost this mid-range,
Back to the clean channel. And no, and no, no EQ. Sorry, the lead master right now is on three, and the input volume is on four. So I can't even turn it as loud as I want to because I will just overdrive my microphones. I have a, uh, I have a microphone up here that I'm talking into, and this one on the uh, amplifier. So, I mean, they're both getting a lot of bleed, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? put new um, JJ tubes in there and uh, amp has did I ever take this out of the house to play it I don't think so so uh, yeah it's been sitting around my amplifier collection for about five years and back to clean guitar plugged directly into an amplifier such as this thanks for watching thanks for watching man